Good evening. Um, as a watchman, I have a duty as the Lord Jesus Christ's servant to um, when I see somebody following a false doctrine, I just send them scriptures. I don't I don't pile my opinions upon those scriptures. I just tell them to please um, consider and um, discern, put some thought into what you're reading in the Bible. And to please stop listening to man, Isaiah 2.22, that um, most people will mislead you and deceive you. <clears throat> That's why um, the Bible warns you to not listen to man. Um, read the Bible for yourself. And um, the reason, a, a, a large reason why I take concern is not because of the scripture that I'm about to read. I'm not taking concern just because of this scripture. I take concern because I love others and I don't want anything bad to happen to anyone and I don't want them to go into tribulation unnecessarily. So let me just read um, Ezekiel chapter 3 verses 18 and 19. Again, that's Ezekiel chapter 3, verses 18 and 19. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his inequity. But his blood will I require at thine hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his inequity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So, basically, if I don't... Um, give knowledge the truth that I've come into to say you have to walk away from your sins and walk away from the world. You have to desire spiritual growth more than your physical fleshly desires. If I don't speak truth, that person's blood is on my hands. And I take that very seriously. The Lord Jesus Christ gave me wisdom and knowledge and truth to speak truth. And it's not easy to do. I mean, I know that I'm not well liked in the YouTube circles. I've been blocked by probably about 20 people just by giving scriptures. Why, why, why block somebody who, who lays down scriptures to contradict their lies? Because it, because they, they, they see that it contradicts what they say. They cannot argue with what the Bible says. So instead, they, they block those who are speaking truth and what's crazy is what they don't understand it's not just their soul that's on the line because they blocked truth and they put a stumbling block in front of the lambs that are following them instead of the Lord Jesus Christ they're responsible for other people's lives too. So 
It doesn't really matter how you look at it, they're murderers. They are murderers. I really don't know how some people can sleep at night. I have a hard time sleeping because I care so much about people. I feel like what I'm trying to do is definitely being overshadowed by those who are tickling other people's ears and telling them what they want to hear. I've never been the type of person in my whole life, really, to tell people what they want to hear. I, I pretty much lay stuff out, and I've kind of been like that my whole life. Because I don't want somebody to bullshit with me, so I don't really bullshit with others. You know, I'm kind and tactful, um, but... I don't forcefully give my opinion upon others, but as a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, it's not about me and it's not about my opinions. It's about truth. It's about giving scriptures to tell you, this is how you're going to get the hell out of here. And for those who don't like Christians who cuss, Being a true follower of Jesus Christ really doesn't have much to do with me saying hell or damn or shit or what have you. And if you're going to focus on something so silly and so insignificant, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about something that's extremely serious. Your eternal soul. Your eternal soul is either going to be eternally damned which that's the wide path to destruction that most people are following or eternal life which is a narrow remnant not very many people are going down that road so you should question if the Bible says remnant and you see 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 people following a certain person you would think logically that hmm that looks like a wide path to me. Maybe I should really pay attention to what this person's teaching. Unfortunately, most people are under a very strong delusion. They're delusional. 2 Thessalonians 2, 10 and 11. The Lord God has put a delusion upon others because they refuse the truth because they refuse the truth and want to believe the lies of this world you are under a strong delusion do you know how i can see that you're under a strong delusion because i see people chasing their tails and talking in circles go look at other people's channels and see how many people say we fly soon Rapture imminent. A lot of people, we fly soon. It's like a catchy thing because they're under a strong delusion. I'm not saying that we're not in the season. We are in the season. I'm saying that you need to take it seriously and get right and become born again and come out of the world. This is not time to mess around and say, oh, I'll kind of follow Jesus Christ, but I feel like keeping one foot in the world and staying in the world because you can't serve two masters. And that sin is enslaving you and it's going to keep you here. So I'm sorry this is like really in your face, but there's such an urgency. And once things do take off, there's no going back. 
And if you wind up in tribulation, there's two ways to go. Taking the microchip or getting beheaded. And from what I've heard a few others say, when you take that microchip and you're connected to the hive mind, you can no longer repent. You won't have the ability to repent and you won't remember Jesus Christ. Go ask Google or go ask, you know, Alexa who Jesus Christ is. They'll tell you that they have no idea. Will you take that microchip? You're going to have no idea who Jesus Christ is either. You're going to have no idea who you are. I make these videos because I care about people. Not to just blow hot air. I don't ask for money. I don't ask for anything. I don't want a thing from you or anybody else. Except please read your Bible. And please put Jesus Christ first and listen to him only. I love you and God bless.